Hey everyone, so the OnePlus 6 has been a great smartphone and has aged really well. Plus it did great as my daily driver for the past 2 years down the line, as it got constant OTAs and version upgrades as soon as they were released. And while all good things come to an end, that support is also ending soon. So this might be one of the last OTAs for this device. So today, we have the Oxygen OS 10.3.6 update for OnePlus 6 series. And it looks like we'll get an update now in 2-3 months or so. And as expected, this has the latest security patch and some under the hood changes. To get this update on your device, you can download the Oxygen Updater application from the Google Play Store. Now open the application, download the zip file and once it's done, simply go to settings, click on system, choose system updates from the list and click on this gear icon on the top right corner. Now choose the zip file we just downloaded. So let it install and you'll be good to go in no time. Now let's get to the changelog quickly. Well there are only a couple of changes mentioned. So first of all the security patch has been bumped up to September 2020 and not the October one which is still okay to have as at least this device hasn't been forgotten till now. Anyways, so apart from this, the only other change that is mentioned is improved system stability and general bug fixes. So I'm expecting it to work on the excessive battery drain that used to happen with this device in past, as Android 10 on OnePlus 6 was never the best if you compare everything with Android 9 update. Things took a downward turn for this series of devices and the Android 11 upgrade will be the last one for this device. And after that, only security patches will be released till quarter 2 of 2021. And to be honest, this is still a capable and premium device to have. And I hate the fact that Android phones are supported for only 2 years down the line. But still happy for this device as we are going to have a lot of Android 11 based rooms really soon. And as far as overall performance and battery life goes, well if I feel any real changes and improvements, I'll share that in the comment section of this video. So that was it for now. Do like and share this video if it helps you out. And lastly, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.